Hibachi, the interactive culinary experience that has taken the U.S. by storm. Where does it come from, you may ask? Well, it was derived from a teppanyaki-style cooking from Japan dating back almost two centuries ago. Now, this style has been transformed into the Japanese-American dining amusement in restaurants such as Benihana, Sushi X, and Osaka. We were given the opportunity to sit down with two hibachi chefs as they explain the trade. I'm Benjamin. I'm a hibachi chef, a teppanyaki chef. It's a fun job. It's demanding. Hi, uh, my name's Tim, and uh, I work in uh, Osaka Hibachi and Sushi in uh, Maplewood in the Twin Cities here. I've been a hibachi chef for about uh, 15 years. And, uh, I went to the hibachi restaurant, got a great experience, and then I said, wow, is this something that I'd be able to do? Hibachi chef job is uh, when you have the knowledge and the skills, it's not really hard to find a job. There's not many of us out there because it's like uh, two hours long um, and uh, it's hard work. Some trace the beginnings back to a port town in Japan called Kobe, where cooks would prepare freshly caught fish in front of their customers. However, the teppanyaki cooking that we are familiar with today was introduced by the restaurant Misono in 1945. Today, there are thousands of hibachi and teppanyaki establishments in the state, all serving the wonderful food that began over 5,000 miles away. The focus is more shifted towards making good food and entertaining people. Let's get started. Training is kind of like an ongoing thing if you're driven to be really good because there's always like another trick that you see somebody do and it's like, I need to learn this trick. A budget chef is really hard to train nowadays. Um, some people have quick mind, some people have slow mind, uh, some people are not really fast learner. So the master had to be really patient with the student and for the, for the student to be able to pick up the pace and be able to move on to the next step. To become a hibachi chef, one must have prior cooking experience. This experience could be obtained from working in another restaurant or receiving a degree in the culinary arts. Once hired, the chefs must be trained at the restaurant more specifically in the art of hibachi, mastering knife skills, cooking the iconic food, and taking on the role of an entertainer. This is Japanese egg roll. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Come on. Just to be able to cook a table, uh, it took me 14 days, but I had, I had a cooking background, and playing the drums for a long time actually helped a lot with basic uh, show stuff, so it made it really fast for me. I didn't go to culinary school. It's, it's, it's one, this is a trade where Basically, like on the job training is the same as what you'd be learning in school, minus uh, maybe the background of, of a certain type of food or something like that. Normally, I'd say a solid month is probably when people will be like, out at the tables, and then you're you're on like probation kind of, where maybe like where I where I was trained, it's like you start screwing up, then whoever trained you comes in and kicks you off the table. It's like, I'm gonna t I'll take over from here, guys. But the best thing to, to learn from is have really good knife skills. Knife skills can, you know, if you have a really good knife skills, you can cut everything the proper way. It will look just really formal and really, uh, uh, really nice. But multitasking is, is one of the main key in the industry. The overall experience is based on the enthusiasm and skill of the chef. Hibachi chefs must continue to perfect and create new tricks in order to continue to thrill their returning customers. The chef kind of has their own flair that they add to the performance. It's different every time. It's really fun to get a meal that's like prepared right in front of you. Usually I've had phenomenal experiences with the chefs at these types of restaurants. They're very talented human beings. Love it when they throw food and you try to catch it. There's never, there's never a day that you're gonna stop learning new, new things out there. Hibachi is all about how really the chef or the comes in the front of you and cook in front of you is pretty much the show, the main show of hibachi. The food that you can make for anybody, but entertaining the people is like what makes this job fun.